just, oh, the camera setting got reset. Oh, maybe not. No, I think it did. Hello, everybody. I'm Dodd from Toad Painting, and we're working this guy again. Mr. Alfarious. I think my zoom got reset. Let me just double check. So today, we work on the staff and the head, I think. I'll probably work on the head first, because it will be hard to get to once I get to the staff. Alright, so... How's that? Okay. Let me try out some fancy new brushes today. Let's see if they uh, hold up to my rigorous tests. Let's see. Fancy green brushes. Alright. So let's figure out where to start. I'm gonna blue tax this guy's backpack so I don't rub it off my fingers. Rub off all the copper I was painting yesterday. Okay. There we go. Good enough. Just to have a little bit of finger support when I'm painting these parts. I'll just put a little bit more on this. Yeah, that looks good. Alright. Before anything happens, I'm just going to double check this guy's color scheme on the head. And figure out what is what. Okay, it's mostly teal with just a bit of... Okay. There we go. So, I'm going to start with a bit of Meredith Blue and Meredith White base. Today, so hopefully my paint doesn't dry too fast. That's probably gonna. painted over his eye area. <laughs> his eye definitely is not going to be green. I'm going to give him like a probably the orange kind of color. He's going to have orange glow effects on his gems and his staff. So I'm trying to keep it. Probably won't be as like vibrant as his gem, but the same kind of tone. I've seen this new brush today. I've got some new brushes from uh, just in the mail today, actually. So, let's see if it's gonna. The tip's gonna curl in the first use. I 
He's a bit like Optimus Prime, this guy. Just because of his, uh, his little, like, I think the crest, as well as, like, his, uh, like, uh, communicator on his head. It's very, like, 90s, kind of, like, I'm a robot in disguise. I didn't give him like a, a hydra shaped head. It'd be kind of cool. A lot of the, uh, the space wolves have like wolf shaped helmets. I do understand why they gave him the helmets, because he's uh... Actually, no, because he's, he's got a twin brother. They're both named Alpharius or something like that. And so, one of them died. Like, you would, if you're exactly the same, if you're twins, like, we didn't really need to hide your identity. But you're identical. That's the whole point, guys. They're all, like, about stealth and trickery. So. Unless it's, like, a, a little space marine in here. <laughs> Wearing, like, a big boy suit. One of those sumo suits, maybe. That has like the dyed tip like this, so. I can't think of my brush is dirty, but it's not. It's all tricky, just like this guy. But now you know when the paint makes it past the dyed part, it's time to wash the brush. Kind of? This brush is just one of its one of its hairs is just a little too long compared to the rest of them. It's just like and it causes the uh, the paint to dry and the tip and it's this little bead, little ball of paint. I want to try and trim that part. All the brushes have that. Let's try the other one. This one doesn't actually have that. Tiny though, so it holds less paint. Let's see. Sizes. These are exactly the same, aren't they? Oh, this one's actually even smaller. It says. Let's try zero. Because if you have. This one's a zero. Whoops. This one's a zero. And this one is a, a three divided by zero, which is like infinity. Infinity, actually. Divided by zero, you get infinite. So, but look, exactly the same. Size wise. It's actually, look, it's a little smaller. This one's actually a little fatter, so I'll just go back to zero. Try that way. I know my favorite size is like a two. Oh, that was a two, I think. Yeah, that was a two. I mean, it's not the two's fault, it's just how it was made. Not all of them the same. Okay. A little bit of shit in here. so fast. Stupid sun.
especially if you're actually a little stiffer than my other ones. Which is probably a good thing, but kind of... <laughs> I can feel them, I can hear them scratching against the paint, the, paint, the model, so it's like... You can actually physically hear it. Which I'm not used to. <laughs> I'm not sure that's a good thing. Yeah. Maybe they'll loosen up once, because this is the first day, so... Probably a little bit of glue still left on them. Most new brushes have a bit of glue. So they keep retain their tip. I washed them for a long time. Yeah, well. It takes a while to break them in. Well, we'll see. I haven't really found anything bad or you know, like the typical like what is again? Synthetic brushes? I'm going to bust out some Exile Blue, shade that Meredith Blue. And then maybe a final coat of... What's it called again? Coal Black for the final shade on his helmet. And then all the fun trim. Everyone enjoys painting trim. This guy's um, Batner's communicator. Oh, that's just all silver, isn't it? Okay. That's easy enough. How's the camera focus and everything? Is it? Okay. So playing around the settings a bit, and hopefully it's a little more authentic colors. And the white looks washed out, but whatever. It's, who cares about the prime part? I care about the painted part. Which is so nice. Someone else is doing better than I'm going to watch my own too. Hmm. Well, that's okay. I got some paintings for my YouTube people. It's always nice to have the conversation with my fellow streamers. Is that a bad blending job, or is that just part of the trim? Okay, it's actually trim. It's hard to tell right now. I mean, it's hard to get a good angle on the camera just like right in my face. Alright, let's do some Exile Blue. I'm gonna find some places to re-highlight. Go to that silver trim on his face, which is gonna take about two decades to complete. Cold black is like a, a very dark teal. It's not really that dark either. It's about the same kind of tone as the uh, Exile Blue I was using before, but a bit less saturation to it. This even the tonal shift will help add some depth to the depth to this thing.
No, I still haven't. Brushes still haven't given out yet, so. I'm glad. I buy like a set of them. I'm just seeing the quality of these guys. Because they're acrylic, they're uh, synthetic, so I mean, they're only going to last so long and be such a quality, but I prefer not to kill animals for my brushes. Hmm. This one might be actually. How fast is it going? Uh, it takes about a month or so of like daily use, most part. And those are like three dollars each. I do use and use and abuse my brushes pretty harshly though. Daily abuse. takes one day to forget you to do it. I'm not using like a soap on them and paint just permanently bonds to the brush bristles and you're not as good as it looked was. Yeah, I mean a little bit of this part a little too dark, so I'll re highlight that part a little bit. Extra careful around the face area. Can, the focal point of a miniature, of any miniature, so you gotta make sure it's nice and consistent and nicely blended. Yeah, I, he did not do any favors for my palette. Oh. I did most of my commission work for many years without a wet palette. <laughs> Well, it's, I was, it was a diff different demographic, really. I was doing more armies and stuff like that, so I could get, use up a lot of paint very fast. And I didn't, I didn't want to have like a whole bunch of paint just like, still wet paint in my palette. I wanted it to be dry so I could add other paint on top of it. I had like, all my palette was, <laughs> it got to like almost a quarter inch thick of just like layers of paint. And like, yeah, it was ridiculous. It looked like, Looks like um like sedimentary rock almost with like it's kind of cool looking. My acrylic paints are very durable and flexible. Yes, they are. You make them that thick, which is kind of funny. Kind of a useless fact. Let's bust out a little bit of moral white here, just pure white to brighten up my final highlight. Little touches on the uh, most raised points. Am I in focus? Yeah. Hopefully, I'm in focus for you guys. It's got a new camera rig, so. I'm just trying out different angles. Just trying to get the best uh, angle. Without my brush constantly knocking it. This is a bit of a lower angle for me, so. I found my hand kind of like covers it a lot easier. This angle isn't as good as the other one. Like your hand is blocking the one. Yeah, okay, let's, let's try more of a cover angle. Paint over top of my little kitty devil. He's my focal point. Anchor. Something. Distraction, maybe. Yeah, let's just double check this point on his hat. Uh, is that silver or. No, that's, I think that's. I think the part's just straight up teal like the rest of them.
I'm doing a bit of overpainting here just so I can do the middle tone color here and just blend together. So, pro tip, wait for it to dry first. There we go. Okay. It's a little too dark around some areas, I'm just gonna try and brighten it up. Fix my mistake, as they say. Because once I get finished with this part, it'll be really hard to go back once I start working on the trim. It'll be not impossible to fix any of this teal parts and not ruin my teal or my trim. So I'm trying to do this basically flawless before I start. Which is really not going to be possible. We we'll always find things. Always, always, always come back and look at it a second time and just find little blending errors. I think that's okay. I know it looks a little wonky right now because like the trim is not done. You can see it's weird blotches of paint pulling red areas and the white primer, but I think it, I think it looks just fine. All right. Let us just do the trim. So instead of using a wash on the silver, the gray part, I am just going to do a black first, dark silver, dark gray actually. So this will be more, or sorry, not more, Famar black and, excuse me, gray coat gray. I'm gonna try out my size. I should try my size. In. Zero, whatever it's called, triple zero. Which, what'd you call that one? Yeah. Triple zero. Sorry, right, that one. I'm actually not sure if that's a triple zero or if it's like some other. It can't be three divided by zero, otherwise it's infinity. Anything divided by zero. It's perfect brush size. No. <laughs> Sometimes brushes are just a little too small. Like, once you get the reservoir of paint is like too small, it doesn't hold enough paint, and it just dries too fast, and then you are constantly going back and forth between your palette and your miniature, and it just becomes annoying. So you have to put too much paint on your brush. If you put too much paint on the brush, it gets into the recesses, and then you just ruin your brush because it dries into this part right here, and you can't clean that part, and then the bristles just spread apart. So, it makes you do bad things if you have too, too tiny of a brush. But I'm gonna use Nabuzi's brushes because I'm testing them out and see if they're actually a good brand that I'm gonna purchase in the future. Can the lights on next? Oh, there it is. Let's try and brighten this up a bit. I feel like it's 
hard to see what I'm doing for you guys. You want to brighten it up? Oh, I hate deep trim. It just takes so many more brush strokes to get it nice. so I don't ruin my shading and blending on that. Dragon head is actually gonna be uh, copper, so I'm gonna need to wait for now. I'm curious why he's like trim on the very front of his head, but the back of his head is no trim. Party Part in the front, military in the back, I don't know. Hmm. 
exactly. It's like there's nothing at all in the back part, just like just stopped. I think the next five hours of a dummy trim. Maybe. I have to go back and look at the green see if I miss any spots. Any bad blending where it comes up against the, uh, the trimming green. Does not look right. I do see a few spots I could do a little more. Be a little better. And hopefully they're easy access, I think. Got a little lucky there. Green's all dried up, probably. Stupid. Stupid global war. Alright. Yeah, I mean, spring is like what happened into spring, and it feels like it's summer already. It's 26 here, which is ridiculous. We're all surrounded by cement, which gains heat pretty well. I think I've solved all the blending problems that I want to do. Yeah, actually, no, I didn't. I always make a statement and I always prove myself wrong. And it's a little lighter right here. Let's, uh, let's go for a highlight on that. Silver. Actually, no, wait. 
didn't even complete this guy's stupid transmitter thing. His Optimus Prime uh, cosplay bit. But seriously, I'm gonna Google Optimus Prime right now. Let's see how close he is to it. Looks like a dead ringer. Okay. You're not as close as I thought. Probably some other incarnation. I've seen it as that. Oh, I see the movie. I guess it's not as close as I thought, but still. It's just weird why you have this like antenna on him when like no other space marine has that kind of stuff. And like when you just have like an communication stuff built inside of your uh, your helmet and stuff like that, your backpack or whatever. Like they added so much trim and detail they like, didn't have ran out of space for uh, this kind of actual utilitarian stuff. I had it from the outside. Let's get walkie talkie glued to his face. It's kind of unfortunate because the rest of the model is very pretty. Anyway, enough me uh, critiquing this thing. Let's go back to the reference picture and just want to... Oh, wow, these one. They really highlighted that part.
definitely run out of bread pretty fast. I can make more. Oh, I really don't want jazz my uh my stream. I'm just down both that one. I mean, it's nothing special. Spritz of water is always good. I should think. Speaking of water, it's a uh, hydration.
too hard to get in this one area, but that's okay. Let's get in there. Retain some of that dark border. Original dark gray. Let's get some depth. This is where the orange crystals may be. I'm sad about the whole Depticon and crystal brush changing. They don't actually know where they're going, do they? The speculation. They say they're going to make an announcement at Cool Minicon, which is the end of the month. Uh, okay. Well, like, isn't the crystal brush mostly hosted by? Yeah, cool. that was really running. So, I wouldn't be surprised if it's. That's where it's going, hopefully. Um, I mean, hopefully they're somewhere, right? Yeah. Unless the uh, people who actually normally run it are just retiring or something, then maybe going for good, but hopefully that's not the no, case. They, uh, well. Oh, so the actual owners are? Yeah. That's cool.
Okay, now that is not for pure white. Okay, do it. Let's see the quick brush. How's that looking? I'm okay with that. I like how they're going. <laughs> This thing's actually stayed, it hasn't been hooking, it just. It's been actually pretty good. Actually, no. Let's see now. Oh, it's got a very slight hook. It's not bad, and I haven't messed up any of the trim yet, so... As soon as I say it, I'm gonna mess it up. It's like a weird, a weird tune. Yeah. I need to give some big thumbs down too. Too peppy for you? Yeah, no. I'm gonna email stuff. Am I in focus? Let's see if I can make it look better. 
It's face in this direction, so it's a little blurry. face already. <laughs> Just need to warm this up. I don't know if you have time to do the staff. A lot of people like to like paint their heads separately, and I really dislike that. I only do it like if I really need to, because I it's like if it's like the heads boxes boxing by other things like a cage or whatever. But otherwise, even miniatures like this, I like to just um, paint it all built. I guess we need the lighting proper and everything, right? Because how do you make the lighting proper if it's on a separate body, like a separate area? I have a hard time making it look uniform and stuff. So. Which while you always see me painting fully built stuff. Plus it's a real <laughs> it's a real beach to try and build a fully painted model. Like some glue and stuff like that, just lots of problems we have. Um, this is just blue tack. Let's see now. Just be careful when you're like pulling it away. This is just like um normal blue tack. Isn't that the stuff that's mixed with the Uhu tack? Yeah, I probably wouldn't have used Uhu tack, but this is just like normal blue tack you can buy. And just be very gentle with it and just pull it off. And you can see like little wisps of it staying on. That's totally fine. Just just be gentle and just go like this. So this is just like the um, generic blue tack, and you can see here it's like none of this, no damage at all. Just be very gentle with it. I forget the brand, but it's like pretty much any kind of. I don't always obviously before you buy it, just test it, or before you try it, just test it on like something, just on a few layers of like paint on something else. But yeah. Thank you. Thanks, Vulcan. Slow but steady. I'm doing this guy's uh, face today. He's getting there. It's a lot of stupid trim. Um, I might even just do the gem actually next after this. Do the eyes and gem because the same color. And throw out some inks and stuff. Yeah, he's. He's a fancy boy. Let's see if I can focus. So how you doing, Falcon? Enjoying your Friday? 
Are you off work? Are you just uh, on your way home? Are you still at work? Taking a break? Working the long weekend? It's not a long weekend. I know. I, I, don't, I don't think. I don't think, yeah. <laughs> okay. I'm just, yeah, so there's actually no damage. Which is very good. And just make sure you just not leave any blue tack there. Because you don't want to like paint over blue tack or seal. I mean, it's a Primark. Like, he's... Where's, where's that cultist show always shows a comparison? So here's Primark, and here's cultist. Like, this guy's grenades are almost as big as his head. Like, almost twice as tall. And, like, it's just ridiculous. So, yeah. It's, like, three or four times the effort to paint this guy compared to this guy. Is this guy... Are the, are the Alpha Legion, like... Now, like, um, are they actually, like, loyalists now? Because, like, some people are saying they're loyalists. They're, like, the weird, like, and, like, this dark, dark angels are, like, chaos now. I haven't read any of the stories, but some people were saying that. I don't know if you do it, know it or not, if you're a 40k guy. Let's see. Okay, let's put that blue tag back on before I forget. The trick is to put like lightly on, not like jam it on. And then just let your fingers gently caress it, I guess, into it while you're painting. So you don't want to get every single crack you can curl. It probably also helps that I use a good primer too. For blue tack. Wouldn't recommend it with like some terrible primer. I'm not gonna say anything about primers, but some of them are I've heard horror stories. I use Thylon Res Primer, which is very nice. I have no problems with it. It's a great airbrush primer. So, like, they're traitors as in, like, they pretend to be traitors, or they actually worship chaos. Because, like... They're just pretending... Say, hey, we're the bad guys, come... You know, tell us your evil secrets, and we'll try and counter you from within. Like, basically the mole... Uh, faction? The mole... Uh, what's it again? Legion? Good. No, oh, missed the spot. Sweat Tim is just hiding stuff. But like if they, like is it, because they're if you're worshiping chaos, because like they're undivided, obviously they're not like a, they're not like doing Zeech or a, or Slanesh. definitely not Corn, and definitely not Nurgle. But like, when they get corrupted by chaos, like, like hearts in the right place, but like in the end, the results gonna be like. They'd be like possessed and whatever else, and like for the chaos.
this, to me, it seems like a very slippery slope. I mean, you're worshipping a thing that corrupts you, no matter what. It corrupts anything. Oops. I'm too wet, though. Okay, so it's like a... How do you exactly, like, worship, like, chaos, for example? You're, like, murdering innocents and, like, having, like, sacrifices, or just, like, murdering goats on the altar, like, foreseeing, like, the like, Romans have, like, the chickens in their guts, whatever, or, like, it's just, like, you see, like, a prayer. I guess it depends on the god. But, like... Why does Elf Legion worship chaos? Only in front of other chaos marines? Like, oh yeah, we probably worship this guy named Slanish. Slanash. Whatever. Whatever his name is. Yeah, yeah, we probably like that guy. Okay. So if they're on the fence, then what about, um, Dark Angels? Is it like, uh, the whole faction is, like, corrupt? Or is it like the higher upper, like, the, uh, upper, like, echelons? Because, like, they were on, like, a demon world, almost. It was, like, tons of beasts mutated by chaos and stuff like that. Not a demon world, but, like, you know, very heavily influenced by chaos. But I remember. So, like, they actively worshiping chaos or just corrupted by chaos, but you know, like thinks like whatever the guy's name is, lying, whatever thinks he's talking to the emperor, but it's actually like Zeech whispering in his ear, or whatever. <laughs> Interesting. And now are are chaos getting primarchs? Or primaris, sorry. Like I was talking to one guy who plays uh Death Guard, he's not Death Guard. Death Watch. He's saying that Crawl made like Primaris Marines for all the chapters and left it at that as he walked away, or walked away, whatever he does with his many legs. He was talking to, uh, Big Blue. Gleeman. So that's kind of funny. His crawl, uh... What's that guy called again? Like the Dark... The dark Adeptus, whatever they call Let's see. Oh, it's right out. I know what's his face. Uh, the guy with the human skin, like it's like Joseph in his tech wonders Technicolor dream coat, but it's like instead of dream coat, it's like skin coat. Wondrous skin coat. Uh, Fabius Bile. Fabius Bile. Bile. He makes space brains or chaos space brains. Is he like gonna make primar or primaris? Primaris. Or is he gonna like? Are they gonna like have? Or is it? Crawl that made the primaries for them. I think there were many ways of that story, didn't they? I'm sure they have. I'm, I'm kind of curious why they haven't like expanded like him and like 
Because he'd be like a really cool, like, kind of faction in himself. How do you corrupt a loyalist, loyalist like, possessed, I guess? Like, demon possessed or, like, mind control? Because, like, how would you even do that in, like, a 40k universe? Okay, let's find that gem. This is... Ooh, Fulgrim, he's the, um, he's Emperor's children. Is he half snake now? He seems like, like a super handsome kind of, uh, marine, like, how they made, like, handsome Squidward. Not that I watch, uh, that show. But I've seen the comparisons. Yeah! <laughs> That's cool. I like, uh, mutated marines. I think this was cool, but I don't think they went far enough with how chaos he could be. But I guess I want to still retain his primary, primarily esque stature. Or whatever he is. Do that jemmy thing. So it's gonna be orange, reddish orange. I think I've actually read like the how uh read like a short story or I was actually full of novel about how Fogrim and his legion got corrupted by a sword or something like that. Basically a uh, Alien artifact was actually was chaos or something. Thanks. Okay. I think it turned out good so far. I still gotta do like the guy's neck neckerchief part area, but I'll probably save it to another day. Just work in this guy's facey face. The uh, client wanted an ultramarine, <laughs> which is totally fine by me. They were my favorite Space Marine chapter, I think, them sound that just, but it's always fun to paint ultramarines, no matter what the uh, circumstance. I also did, um, what the again, Robert Roboot? Roboat? Robot Gilliman did him recently on the stream, if you ever saw him. He was a fun yeah, big blue himself. He's super tall, like, uh, so, uh, it's like they made a, made him, like, t ridiculous. It's like, I'm a Primaris Marine and he's a normal Marine, so it feels like. I won't be doing any of the, uh, the, the, the uh, whatever it's called, the base on stream. It's just a lot of rock. A little too much rock.
Wasn't there two? There's like twins, wasn't there? Like, like the only faction had like two, and one of them died, or whatever. Of course, I think all my 40k knowledge from like Space Marines is from like actual Space Marine players. So it was all secondhand, so it's probably wrong. Amagon? Amagon? Is either the dead one or the live one? Actually, who killed the, the one Primark for the. Uh... Is it a Chaos guy or the Loyalist? Why is that? Flatworms, they just they cut one off and they regrow like a hydra? Oh, okay, so like, he died before he was actually a Primarch? So they couldn't take his gene? They couldn't, they're not his baby daddies? Or whatever? So that's why all the chain around him, because that's his uh, that's his symbol. And I guess the other guy's symbol was something else. Or like, is that the, their motto? Like, their chapter motto is like, "We are a Farius." <laughs> they all clones. They all stormtroopers. Do they have like a 5 plus to hit everything because they're terrible shots? Asexual Alpharius. Well, I just think that uh, Space Marines are very gender specific. They're all the very male, masculine kind of things because of how they're produced. That's what the Emperor wanted. They weren't very particularly gender friendly back in the day, you might say. But I mean, now times are changing. Keep those eyes dark. <laughs> True flatworm. I don't think Emperor actually would recruit non humans. He's all about the his boys. Actually, they're also his progeny, too, so they kind of have to be, like... Yeah, he had, like, a lot of children. That's why he... When Chaos stole them all, he wanted them back. Is, are this, is the uh, Alpha Legion the 20th Legion? Is it some conspiracy theory for all this?
I mean, it'd be cool. I, just, I really don't think DW's gonna do that, though. <laughs> I mean, if they're like, um. Holy mutated by chaos, maybe they might make them into like. scaly kind of creatures, but I don't think make them like. the flowers. Though, that'd be pretty cool. I just. got a high level of doubt for GW turning into the. Feet Marines. I'm a big fan of like aliens and stuff like that. GW does a good job of like doing alien creatures and stuff like that. Unlike a lot of games. But yeah. Well, they're. Yeah, a lot of Space Marines are based off of like a lot of uh, real life lore and stuff like that. Hence all the Greek mythology and stuff like that, and the beasts and stuff. Okay, let's do a little more orange in that jam. And then I'll do some glow effects. Special Project Legions, I guess, of various. What else would be dark? No. Blood Angels, maybe? Because they're ridiculous. And I guess you might even say that Space Wolves. They really gotta change the Space Wolves' name to something else. Adeptus Sardis, Adeptus Canis, maybe? Is that kind of cool? Salamanders. Interesting. Why the salamanders? I understand like space wolves because they're like just ridiculously mutated. I don't know, whatever. But like, why the salamanders? Because like, I know they're like charred black in skin, but like, that's about it. It's like that's all I really know about them. And Vulc is Vulcan like a special son of uh, of the Emperor? Okay, let's see if this works properly. Okay, it's a very, very light amount of blazing orange ink. Just... Their loyalty? As in, like, they were not, like, bred to be loyal to the Emperor, more like their chapter, I guess? How's that look for the a little bit of a glow? It's kind of hard to tell. It's much more predominant on the. Uh... Okay, let's. Thanks. It's, it's hard to do a good glow on like daylight surfaces. You want to have like more of a specialized kind of darker areas. Very bright to have a very small amount of like glow effect for uh, daylight models. 
here, I'm just gonna like maybe brighten up some areas around the gem. And reapply some ink. And I'm painting off screen, probably. Darken it by the ink. Close to me, purple, I think. Client like the idea of a purple cloak. that's okay. Because you don't want your light to be like darker than the actual like light part, so I'm not gonna try and fudge it anymore. purple kind of thing, but happy how the, uh, the face is turning out. Give up on the uh, world, I think. I do more harm than good. I'll just first fix a few things, and then I'll give up. Reflection coming from the uh, circle, and I'll probably do a little bit more there when I do that. But yeah, I like that. So now, I'm happy with that. Yeah. That ink really helps with the glow effect. That is orange. Yeah. Thank you, Soshi, for recommending that. Soshi. A little stretch before I get back into the action. And a little bit of hydration.
Let's do some uh, melmetal copper on that part. If I can remember that recipe. Because like a little white head right there's me. The non-metallic hydro. So let's make sure it's this new brush is actually quite good. I like liking it. It's too bad that number two's tip is a little too fine. The one strand makes it a little hard. The three? Uh, oh. I'm not seeing a three. Like the other ones are a six and an eight. God, they're massive. Uh, unless you got put somewhere else, because there's a, this is a zero, a zero, three zero, and then the four and a two. Okay, so what was it doing again? I was doing something. <laughs> okay, so let's try this number two. So this is Bloodstone, Bloodstone Brown by Private Press, P3, because it's Nice non-toxic, and as you can see, I lick my brush a lot. So it's always good to stay safe. And then what was the other one? Oh yeah, and sanguine base. And that white I just used was mouth white. I base coated the first with me. Mouth white. Do you play a 40k uh, Vulcan? I guess you. Uh, that's right. I'm assuming you're playing Salamanders just because of that name. It's a great hobby. I don't play uh, 40k or Games Workshop games, but they have amazing models, and I love. I still love to build and paint them, even if it does a job. <laughs> yeah. That's always a problem. Do they have lots of time and no money to buy paint play? We have. All the money, but you have no time to play. <laughs> yeah, I'm not there yet. <laughs> painted models for other commission painters. <laughs> Let me just try and snip off this little extra hair. A little too long. Otherwise it's a little brush otherwise. Not knock you off. I need a cutting board. Oh, it's covered and stuff, yeah. Graph. Let's sacrifice the poor cat. Curling the angle. Maybe I fixed it, maybe I ruined it. Let's find out. Just fixing up a little bit of mistake I did last time. I know I did somewhere. Oh. 
I rarely have had a fully painted army, and I, I paint full time for a living. It's not necessary. I mean, I play a game to, to, because I enjoy playing it. I don't play a game because I like painting models. Then I come from like a war machine background more recently, so emphasis is not really painting, more about playing, doing good. But I guess you get that also in 40k too. I'll be here for the next 15 plus minutes. Depends on when I feel like I'm gonna get out. Um, and this is Umber Umber mixed with some sanguine base. The darkest part. You know, the tip's fixed, it's quite good. It's number two size. Let's just see if it starts hooking. I always run out of... I always put too little on the palette. Here I'm just going to be overpainting a bit, brightening it up, because I'm going to darken it with the, uh, the secondary shade. Because otherwise, if I do it the opposite direction, i build it up. Yeah, the color it just doesn't have the same kind of saturation. So if you find if you do a lighter color and do the, the shade on it, it keeps saturation. It's nice and tasty with the, the saturation. Oh, look, it is, it is more of like a cartoony kind of look. With more saturation, which I kind of like. So. That's why people pay me, because I do it in my style, which is high saturation. Oops. Oops. 
to be the same. <laughs> yes, he is. And he actually has like seven hydras on him, too. Seven hydra heads. Which is interesting. He's got one on each of his pauldrons, shoulder pads, whatever, and then four on his backpack, and then he's got one on his crest of his helmet. It's like, like Greek mythology. Which is kind of funny. Ah, uh, yeah. Not a bad little dragon head. So insty. insty. That's his head basically done. Now I'm looking at his antenna and I missed a spot that's not blended properly. Or nicely. I'm just gonna bust out some gray coat gray and just try and fix that. Something. I don't know if I fixed it or made it worse. Um, I think there was like very few. He was actually, for the most part, he was actually quite good. I was quite impressed with this guy. Because, like, I think it was all like, if there's any bubbles all on like the very edge of the trim, it wasn't unscaled, which is probably the best you can expect. Because, yeah, if he was like a bad cast, that'd be some nightmare. Just imagine all the. all the scales, god. I mean, nightmare is trying to fix all those bubbles in the scales. I just ask for a new one at that point. Because, Jesus. Alright. Well, that was two hours on the head. <laughs> I didn't like the results, but that was a lot of time spent on his head. Now I'm just going back and spending more time on his head. Probably shouldn't do that. He's very close to being done. I mean, the cloak would not take that long. But I won't do the last, because I almost touched that lot. That's why I do put the protection on this guy. Let's see now. Yeah. I mean, it's a little harder to do with a, with a helmet. Just because it's it blocks all like, the natural features of a face. That's the main point of a Make fo main focal point of a face is like the eyes, the nose, the lip kind of thing, and like it kind of just makes it just the eyes, and the eyes are not really. There's not much detail in the eyes because just like you know, the glass thing, right? So you try to make them interesting via the glow and stuff like that. 
Because otherwise, like a full fun, this guy would probably be like a backpack and stuff like that, because it's so intricate and stuff like that. Which is not really what we want. I'll make these, uh, these two staff points, like the kind of the same kind of orange glow as like the, that point. I may as well just finish up all the trim around there. Okay, back to silver. Try to finish up his chest part. Since I've done his head already. I'll probably call it quits for today. Dinner time soon. <laughs> That's true. He's got two heads on his head. And he's got two heads on his shoulders. And four heads on his back. It's really hard to sneak up on him. Let me just put a little bit of blue tack on his shoulder so I can have a nice grippy part there. Like slowly but surely we will attack when I'm done. This song from it. Definitely like something like game. Is it an arcade game? Like from my youth, or is it from like a like um how was the one game so cool? Reminds me totally of those battle ones. Like the airship scene like a D and D arcade game. Or, like, 
could travel around in a new location in that soul calibre. You work on anything right now, Vulcan? Can you work on your uh, army? Space Marine Army, I presume. I don't remember what you said your army was. I forget. That's why if you already told me. Bad memory for those kind of things. Oh, great. Oh, what happened? Oh yeah, it's not like reminding people about. <laughs> no worries. Yeah. Oh cool, so you're doing um, uh, what's the guy's Black Legion? I think it is. Well, yeah, but it's still, it's still an army. Big boy. I mean, how did he get so big? Oh, you're just in the army? Oh, okay. Or just, just, just in the exact opposite of what you said. He seems, he seems like a fun model to do. But why is he's not? Because he's not a Primarch, right? So I'm, I'm curious why he's so big just because of chaos and. Their love of making things ginormous? Or does he have like. Is there a fluff reason why he's big? Because. <laughs> Alright, Salamanders. Yeah, yeah, Because it's your name. Vulcan's the Primark. I'm a little slow sometimes. Just a teeny weeny bit. Some pain and tears to distract me. <laughs> I, think, I don't know if you're in the last stream, guys. I came up commenting about that. Like, like, I'm surprised they made Primary. Primary is so big, and then they kept Chaos so small. It's like, it's cool to have all the Primaries. Our Chaos Marines just massive and like mutated and whatever. They kept them all tiny. Saying they're gonna. Well, like the. But it's still like, like the new um, Primaris Marines look like. They actually fit their 32 bases. But the, the new Chaos Marines look a little too small for the 32 mil bases. Which I was a little sad about. Like, great opportunity to do that. Like the Death Guard. They are like massive and just all the same size as the Primaris.
I'm just gonna do a little more white right around here. And then I'm gonna put the glow effect in with the blazing orange. Smooth. It's pretty like, you know, like chunky, chunky. Let's do it here. Make it dry too fast. Give me less time to play with it. Okay. Chaos roids. It's more like demon roids. I like the whole idea of the, uh, oh, the obliterators. Like they're like. Actually, not demon possessed or like something else. Demon inspired nanobots, but like. All chaos beings should be possessed. In 10,000 years. And like, they turn. I mentioned this last stream, but like. They turn like people who failed them into like. Spawn. And then people who do great into demon princes and etc etc demons but like so like the, all the other space marines have been like for 10,000 years basically been meteorocracy they haven't failed but they haven't like they haven't pleased the chaos gods enough to become ascended it just seems a little odd anyway that's the uh let me just get this focused properly so I get a nice The glow is a little more pronounced on the actual miniature. It's just the white camera settings. But yeah. That is pretty much what I'm going to be doing for today. I think I'm done. It's like it's dinner time. Are we going to be uh, raiding anybody tonight? Huh? There's, there's six right now. Alright. Okay, this is six in line. Oh, I guess the other ones are not on Twitch. Okay. Alright, so I think we're going to be uh, calling this tonight. I did the head pretty much entirety, so I'm happy with that. I like that everything turned out. And uh, thanks for watching, Vulcan. Hopefully, see you again maybe Tuesday. I. I don't know what to be painting on Tuesday. It might be more him. Might be, Horseman. might be a, a hero forged Calvary model. Depends what I feel like. Thanks. All right. Ugh. Time for dinner. Have a good night, guys. Enjoy your weekend.